Hi guys, I'm Mighty Balls and today's video is regarding my mod pack version 3.11. This is for World of Tanks version 9.16. I'm sorry guys, this is so late. I've been absolutely inundated with work. I haven't even been able to play World of Tanks for the last three weeks. You can see by my profile, I think the 21st of last month was the last time I played this game. So I do apologise, I didn't even know that 9.16 was even out until I came onto TS for the first time in weeks and someone said, where's your mod pack? So guys, if you ever see that my mod pack is a day late on YouTube, just hit me up on YouTube, leave a comment, say, hey, where the hell's the mod pack? And I promise you I'll get onto it. I just had no idea 9.16 was even out. So anyway, I'll go through some actual features of this and then I'll show you how to install it for those who don't know how to install it. So let's go over to a few of the aspects of this mod pack. So first things first, guys, there are a few things disabled here. For instance, the double carousel is now part of the game, so there's no reason for that to be in the XVM. So I've disabled a few of things. You've still got your ping, as you can see in the top left. It's slightly to the right as normal. You've also got your clock and your date, which is always nice. And you've also still got your lock, so you can't spend your gold or your credits without actually knowing it. Now, it's all color co coordinated. It shows you your XVM. It shows you all your little bits. We've also got it to actually start on this page rather than that page. And then we've also got the session stat, which is still here for when you have your games played and giving you all your individual tank stats, how much profit you've made, etc, etc. So on the top left we've got the win rate overall, the how many games are played overall and their W8 overall. Now on this part of the section you have got different levels and as you can see you can have whatever tailors you. I have mine on the highest one. So on this section when you press the tab key you've got the damage on that tank they're playing in, how many games they've played in that tank and what their win rate is on that tank. So you, on the bottom you have the bounce counter and your live W8 counter which is only for damage can I just say. So at the top you have your health pool of each team, in the middle that is minus or plus or whatever and then you've got your high calibre what your damage you need to get the high calibre in that tank. So as normal, as you guys know, you do love my balls in your face, and as normal, you've got my balls in your face <laughs> every time you get spotted. Now in the top left, you've also got your hit counter. In the bottom left, you'll notice that you've got a hit counter. You've also got um, a reload counter. Now take that with a pinch of salt at the end of the day. That's not taken into account, 100% crew, brother in arms, gun, uh, gun lane drive, vents, you name it, it doesn't take it into account. Now to get the settings you need to do it as follows, go to your settings, go to your feedback and now on this section I've got mine on advanced all and just all of them checked. On the damage section I've got them all unchecked and do not display and then I've just got it not enabled on the battle events section. There are a few features I couldn't show you, for instance battle assistance mod with the artillery. This has got that but unfortunately I can't show you that purely because I don't play arty. <laughs> there are a few other little features like making the map extend into the middle etc. But to be honest they're only little features, you'll get to know them. To get the assistance mod up you press the J key or the middle button on the mouse if you have that. To get the map up you press your G key and that will bring up the map. So let's go over to installing this mod pack and showing you guys how to do it if you don't know. First of all what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to two websites. One of them is XVM's website, which the URL is popping up here. And if you don't want to write that out, there is a link in the description. Just click that and it'll go straight to that website. For the second link, it is my website, which is www.mightyballs.website. Now, again, if you don't want to do that, simply click the link, which is in the description, and that'll take you straight to my website. So when you go over to the XVM website, you'll notice there's a sign in button. Simply sign in, activate and then update. Simple as that. Then you go over to my website, which is as I already said in the description. And from there, you simply go over to the right hand corner, which is the menu button. You click on that and then you go over to my mod. You click on that. That'll take you to my page where you scroll down and then you'll have your download button, which is with the version it's on. So from there you download it, you should get a folder like that. When you unzip it, you should get a folder like so. 
inside it is the res mod folder if you don't have that and it's still the mod pack 3.11 just click on that until you get the res mod folder now you've got to find your world of tanks folder mine is located in this local disk and games and then world of tanks you double click into there you see your res mod folder there delete it I'm not going to do it on this purely because it's only a demo I've already got this installed and then just simply drag over the actual box and you're all done guys so that's it from this video guys if you did like the mod or you're using the mod or you're sharing the mod or whatever you're doing with the mod please give us a like and subscribe because at the end of the day it doesn't just help this video it helps my channel until next time I'll see you guys later Thank you.